Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I had an ex-girlfriend once uh, who thought it w would be cool to ride around on motorcycles. And she said this kind of in passing, and based upon that, I ended up taking a motorcycle safety course just to kind of learn how to do it and know my way around a bike. And uh, after doing that, I showed her the, the certificate saying, look, I can ride a motorcycle. And she looked at me and said, so? I said, but don't you remember that time that you said that it'd be cool? She's like, I, don't, I never said that. I never actually added it to my license officially. My dad loves motorcycles. He's a big wreck biker, loves Honda Gold Wings. Both he and my mom, uh, I guess, tour around uh, Iowa and the Midwest in general on their uh, Gold Wing. And uh, behind me uh, is a photo of my dad's wrist. Uh, now you notice it's not sitting the way a wrist normally should. The reason why, well, one day Ponzi and I flew back to Iowa to visit my family. And uh, that night, like an hour after we landed, my dad was teaching motorcycle safety cl class, a course. And during that, he was backing up on his bike and ended up slipping and falling backwards. And well, one part of his arm went that way, the other part went that way, which is kind of funny. And the reason why I'm telling you these interesting stories is, number one, to add a different dynamic so you know me on a personal level. And then also to share this top five list as submitted by Chris German in the UK, the top five motorcycle tips for two strokes. So apparently there's something called a two-stroke motorcycle. I, I wouldn't know what it is since I'm not really into motorcycles, but there are probably a few of you out there who are. And the reason why this top five list was submitted because he says, hey, you talk about a lot of computer geekery stuff, but what about mechanical stuff? And so this is why he submitted this list. For those of you who are able to legally ride a true two-stroke motorcycle these days, well, this list will be of great use. As far as I'm aware, two strokes are not permitted on US roads anymore due to fuel emission laws. This must suck. I wouldn't know. However, people can still use these pocket rockets for fun on private land, etc. So these tips may still be useful. Number one, Italian or Japanese. This all boils down to how wealthy you are and how long you wish to wait for spare parts. Italian firms such as Aprilia, Kagiva, produce some remarkable looking bikes for beginners like the RS125 or the Mito Evolution 125. However, the prices all in all are sure to cause some major bank misfunction. I think what he means is it's expensive. You will at some point be needing spare parts like pistons, rings, cylinders, etc. However, these guys will keep you on the waiting list for months on end. On a positive note, they are fantastic to ride with the best small ca capacity performance. As far as the Japanese bikes, they're pretty self-explanatory. You're sure to save money, time, and also gain more durability from your designated or chosen machine. Recommended models include the TZR125 from Yamaha or the NSR125 from Honda. Number two, I've got my bike. How do I treat it? With two strokes, as always, use the best, fully synthetic, two-stroke oil. Your little soul should be able to afford this. And I think soul, he's calling the bike his soul, and I think my dad would refer to it the same way. This is considered a must, as it will prolong the life of your engine. Number three, always warm up. Always allow your two-stroke to warm up in neutral for at least 15 minutes, as this lets major components of the engine reach optimum running temperature. I can't emphasize how important this is, as I've seen many people ask me why their pride and joy has blown up, mechanically speaking. Number four, keep it standard. Many young people admire the idea of purchasing a two-stroke and deciding to upgrade the engine with bore increasement kits, race pipes, etc. My advice is unless you are experienced with these engines, don't even think about it. Just like PCs, if you want more power and speed, it's going to run much hotter. And with a bike, it can potentially lead to disaster if not done correctly. Number five, service it. Be sure you have your bike serviced at least once a year as this helps the overall value of your bike for when you're ready to sell and move on. A good collection of service receipts proves your bike's worthy to be a second-hand sale. Bonus tip, make sure the following parts are replaced within the following times by your local garage. Piston rings change every 4,000 miles. Pistons change every 12,000 miles and cylinders change every 30,000 miles miles. If anyone would like further guidance, I can be contacted at sorianouk at yahoo.co.uk or of course located from time to time in the chat room at live.perillo.com. We all have interests, whether they're related to computers or motorcycles, doesn't matter. I love top five uh, tips. 
I, I, I learned something here. Uh, I, I learned that uh, you should leave it in neutral and let it warm up for 15 minutes. Uh, I, I thought you only had to do that with cars in Iowa, but apparently you know, motorcycles are no exception to that. Uh, so I can learn a thing or two. So don't just assume that the only thing we like talking about is computers. Although we do like talking about computers and gaming and the internet and software and services and hardware and uh, we were, we're typically talking about technology in the chat room, uh, and that's what he was referring to there. If you want to join us in the chat room, you're, you're more than welcome to. If you want to submit top five lists, you email it to me, uh, chris at perillo.com. And if you want to stop by the chat room, where all of everybody here is currently talking, most likely, uh, just point your web browser to live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.